and we are live okay okay we're gonna see if we're gonna get anybody on there's one <laughs> all right oh you got a notification huh let's see yeah all right <laughs> YouTube and I thought it would be really fun to hook the, the scale up to this thing and weigh it and see what it is because we all think it's between 8,000 and 10,000 pounds somewhere in that range so I think it'd be fun to do this how many people we got live now on the 259 259 okay well we'll give it a couple minutes and try to get a few more people on board people are guessing they're starting to put their guesses in go uh -huh. ahead throw your guess up there 9500 uh, you know, 9450 9100 pounds and uh Fred come on in the shot so you can say hello Hi. We Hi got, guys. We got Fred Newman here. He's the one that brought the shaper down. My guess is 10,500. Okay, we got 10,5. Abby, have you, do you have a guess? I'm going to go in the middle. I'm, I'll just go with 10. 10,000. Okay. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and uh, give them a little walk around and uh, show, them the, show them the machine. So we had a real safe trip down. There was no problems and we're using a 10 ton overhead crane. You want to show them the, the crane up top? We're using the 10 ton overhead to pick it up, which uh, we did successfully. Trying to fall down. This thing's great, man. It's a whole lot bigger than that 12 inch Sheldon. It looks good. It just needs a good cleaning. These comments are awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's some really funny ones. How many people are watching now? 374. Okay. All right. Well, I'm tired of waiting. I want to go ahead and do it. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get the waiting. They can they can watch the video after it's live. All right. So we got it zeroed out. This is um. Uh, uh, will you show them up there? That's a it's a load cell, and it's uh, I believe it's rated for. 10 tons so it should handle 20,000 pounds it should be no problem so can you see the display pretty good on video yes all right we're gonna go ahead and get the train going how about come over here to this side and we'll kind of see it again picked up all right okay here we go let me double check the straps here as we Everything's looking pretty good. I'm taking video too. I'm gonna get him a shot there. <laughs> right, we got, the end up. got the front end up. But how's it look on video? Come up here. You see the scale a little better there? Can you guys see that? You know, that's a good, I ought to switch it to kilograms too once we get it up. So we don't have it up yet. Okay, here we go. Wow. I'm way off. <laughs> there we go. It's up off the ground. Go ahead and give them a close shot of it, babe. The, uh, the scale there. 8,257. Wow, 8,257 pounds. So real quick, what is that in kilograms? <laughs> 3,500 approximately. 3,750 yeah. kilograms. Isn't it digital technology nice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, so I was uh, I was about 900, nine, close to 900 pounds off on my guess. Very I was cool. about 2,300 off. I'm actually relieved because yeah. whenever you said you thought this was 10,000, man, I was <laughs> those 10,000 pound forklifts. That's like right at the max rated load right there. All right. Okay, so 80. 
uh, 8257 was the official number. So I hope everybody enjoyed that. That was really fun to do a very first live video. So we're gonna go ahead and get it moved and I'm gonna set it right over here uh, and store it temporarily and let the shop work get finished at the house and also get the new concrete slab poured out front. And then once that is done and the concrete's cured, then we're gonna set a weekend to take this thing home and get it inside the shop. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed.